first name on my bib if I come back now too, so that's pretty cool. Can you walk me through the race, um, especially with the breakaway early? Like, how did you play that? Yeah, you know, that's uh, about a lap in. Yeah, the gap was starting to get pretty big, but on that second lap, I felt like the gap didn't really grow. We still had a chance. Plus, uh, you know, there were a couple guys that were, like, willing to kind of pull the race along, and it's not like I was getting out there and trying to do it myself because getting a little bit of wind, you know, I knew with road miles you kind of want to stay tucked in as much as you can, but uh, he gave a little look back with the lap to go, and I thought we had a chance. So I just got to that back straight, and I knew that if I got to the lead with two turns to go, it's really hard to pass after that. Able to get that right in time, and you see it through. Why did you decide to do this race? Uh, I, you know, I just really like opening up with you know some fun and different things. So like I did an 800 and some pacing work last week at George Mason, uh, which is just a drivable distance from Baltimore. Come up here, do a road mile, just to get the feel of racing, running hard without like forcing yourself not to worry too much about time, just be competitive, go out there and have fun. And like, you know, this is ideal. You get like the thrill of, of winning and you feel like, you know, you have all the confidence going into the bulk of the season going forward. Yeah. What's the vibe like on your team right now? Cause you guys have been having some success. Yeah, the vibes are, are really good. Um, you know, it was cool to see, uh, you know, Fog competed into our worlds. You know, we've got three guys, 351 or better in the mile at the end of our season, which is really cool. Ahmed Jaziri's already qualified for the Olympics in the steeple for Tunisia. Uh, yeah, everything's on the up and up. We've got, you know, a great group of uh, strong, fit and healthy is the big thing uh, guys. And then, you know, the women progressing really well too. We'll see some of them racing California today. So uh, vibes are great. You know, I'm looking forward to a month of good training in Flagstaff and then hitting the racing season know even harder after that yeah is that where you're headed off to this like stuff yeah so yeah. i leave on monday i'm staying for the marathon nice. and we're doing some under armor brand stuff that i like to be involved in i think that's a cool part of being in baltimore is we're particularly like involved with some of the things that the brand's doing which i love and you know someday when running's over like i'll have some great connections and maybe some opportunities there uh, but yeah i'll go to flag be really locked in on training for a month and then uh you know just Go to probably LA. Uh, he's gonna go to Nashville, but that seems kind of up in the air. Uh, but you know, some good races against good competition, and everything will hopefully fall into place for the trials, and I'll be as fit and as ready to go mentally, physically as I can be. Yeah, and you mentioned the three guys at 351 of Fosta. Like, why do you think you guys have been running so well this year? What is it about this year? Uh, I mean, I think I just give a lot of props to like kind of everyone involved with the team. You know, Corey who obviously is our coach and Carrie Lane, our strength coach, have made a lot of really good adjustments. I think they're very, uh, they've a lot, got a lot of humility in like being willing to reflect on, you know, what's in the past, what they feel like has worked and what needed to be adjusted. And then taking feedback from us, like, you know, at the end of the indoor season, Corey had us, you know, just reflect on what we thought were kind of the best things we did, workouts and otherwise, and you know, what we thought could be improved. And then uh, I think there's just a good feedback loop and we're always trying to improve what we're doing and do what's best for us, you know? Even if it's not what we thought was best, you know, a year ago or even a couple months ago, right? What's the training scene like in Baltimore? Like, do you guys see other good, like, greenways? Do you have places to run? So we go up to a trail called the NCR. It's about a half hour north from where I live for, like, our longer runs on soft surface. Uh, Under Armour has built us a track downtown, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we have a gym across the harbor, so from where I live, I can ride my bike about a mile and then take a free boat across to the gym at Under Armour HQ, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of a unique commute. I don't think uh, yeah. a lot of people get that type of opportunity. Yeah. Have, you, uh, have you been to Altitude before? Have you been to Altitude? I have, yeah. So we do two Altitude camps a year. Um, we go up like four to six weeks in the fall and in the in the spring. So depending on racing schedules, like Ahmed Jaziri is running uh, the Diamond League from the Middle East. So he's up a little bit on the earlier side and leaving earlier. Uh, you know, I chose to do a couple races here and then do a month like a little bit toward the later side and then I'll go to LA for hopefully the Grand Prix after that. Uh, some guys go the whole time with a break for Drake in the middle. It just depends, but I mean, there's an overlap of about a month between all of us there uh, where we have a house and, you know, a good setup. Up. Were you ever with the Dark Sky team or have you just been Baltimore the whole time? No, I've always been Baltimore, yep. Okay. So I, I grew up outside of Philly and went to Villanova. So yes. I went to school a half hour from where I grew up. Baltimore is about two hours from where I grew up, so I've always been an East Coast guy. Uh, yeah, and I love it because you know I've been able to move to a new city and have a whole new experience, and uh, but I can still like go visit family and stuff too. So, Great. you know, I love it. How would you kind of rate your pro career so far? Like, 
Yeah, but at least you had released last year. I mean, everyone's goal is to make those teams, so you know, I'll never, I'll never give myself an A until I made one of those major teams, which is like obviously everybody's main goal. But you know, just doing the best I can, man. I'm, I'm constantly improving, you know, so it's hard to be too hard on yourself when you feel like things are going in the right direction. Uh, but I'm always looking to make that next jump, and you know, talking with the coaches and working with my teammates. You know, I'm always trying to see. Uh, what it's going to take for me to get there and you know hopefully at the trials this year I'll be ready to do you know things I've never done and make that team. Are you doing any other distance racing or just keep it 1500? We'll see I mean I may run a 5k but that may not come until like later this summer and just like we'll kind of see how this next month at altitude goes. The thing is like if I get into these major 1500s with these guys and I feel like I need to beat that caliber of guy to make a team I have to go and do that, right? Like, because if I want to focus on the 15, I make it into the LA Grand Prix and can race some 330 guys. That is such a valuable experience for me. I don't think I can pass that up to do something else, right? So if the opportunity comes up where the 5K is the best option, I'll do that. Otherwise, I want to get in those big races and make sure that I get the best experience possible to help me at the trials. Thanks yeah. for the time. Congrats.